I forgot. So many people let themselves get into impossible situations because they don't say, Nigi bunendan. I forgot. I forgot armed robbery was illegal. <laughs> no! <laughs> Steve Martin. <laughs> if they don't know any of those Steve Martin bits. Yeah, listen to that. What about your mother? I'm so mad at my mother. She's 102. And she calls me up the other day. She says she wants to borrow $20 for some food. I said, hey, my work for a living. <laughs> so I loan her the money. She calls me up. She says she can't pay me back for a while. I say, what is this crap? So, having her work on my transmission. <laughs> and if she can't fix that, I'm going to have my have her haul my barbells up to the attic. You know, like the, the whole thing. <laughs> I, I have no idea what that bit's about, but I just remember loving Steve Martin when I was a little guy. Steve Martin. Because I am, speaking of Saturday Night Live, that's what made me think of it. He used to host Saturday Night Live a lot. He was one of the Czechoslovakian brothers with, I think, Dan Aykroyd. Hey, Paul, didn't you lose a girlfriend to Dan Aykroyd? That's right. He stole my girl. <laughs> that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. Kiss fans, if you like uh, Paul Stanley's solo album, uh... And all his like ballads and stuff. They're all about one girl in particular who was cheating on Paul Stanley with Dan Aykroyd. And uh, she eventually married Dan Aykroyd. Sorry about that, dude. That's okay. But I was a million to one. Yeah, a million to one. That's what it will be. Yep, a million to one. There's someone better than me. Yep. No, a million to one. Okay, take it easy. <laughs> you never will find. All right, one more. Another love like mine. Listen to your heart, girl. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Stanley. How you doing? All right, that's enough. <laughs> anyway, so um, today I wanted to play a couple of a couple of songs for the people. Um, here's a song that we recorded that uh, is called. Oh, we didn't record this. Is, this is you and uh, Michael Lyons. <laughs> yeah. So Michael Lyons, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing great is a, a rock star cartoonist. That's what he calls himself. <laughs> That's what I call him. Yeah, well, whatever. And uh, he's got books for sale on Amazon.com, like Jibway Words and Phrases. But he's also got books he's illustrated, like Bougie Ojitimo. But when he's not drawing cartoon squirrels and that, because that's what this means, uh, hello, squirrel. It's a picture book. Children's picture book. Click the links in the description. Um, he plays guitars and sings beautiful music with my girlfriend, which I don't mind telling you makes me just a little uncomfortable. <laughs> what do you mean? 
mean? I just don't like it that my best friend and my girlfriend are making beautiful music together. Oh, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> this is going to end up being a real life operator. <laughs> operator, can you help me find Natasha's number? You know, she's living in LA with the rock star cartoonist. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway. Um so um This song is called Emily and Michael wrote it. Emily's got one crazy eye She looks to the west and she looks to the sky Don't ask her how she sees oh, When she looks she Emily! 
That was pretty good, Niji. Hey, thanks. <laughs> All right. Um, so, you know what, sweetie? What's that? That, uh, that storm out there is pretty bad. You think so? Yeah. I think it's a severe weather out there. <laughs> oh, is this gonna, is this gonna blend into your word of the day? Oh yeah, I just remembered. Nikki, give me one done. I remembered. Today's Ojibwe word of the day. A gitchi nuden is a storm. Uh, Nichiwood is a severe storm. When it's really bad, you say Nichiwood. If it's just a storm, you know, just a, oh, it's a little windy outside. Uh, then Gitchi Nuden. Nuden means windy, but Gitchi Nuden is like a storm. But when it's really severe and you got to be careful, then it's Nichiwood, a severe storm. And so I'm going to go up to the moon. Sweetie, would you mind uh, uh, teleporting me to the moon? Yeah, you got it. I'm going to go up to the moon and uh, put out a little prayer for the weather. <laughs> for the weather? For the earth. Okay. One to teleport, baby doll. Make it so, number one. <laughs> nah. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, this is more like it. <clears throat> you don't get very severe storms on the, uh, the moon, apparently. You know, the, the story kind of, you know, it's kind of hazy, things they say about the moon. You know, is there an atmosphere or not? There's six, they say it's uh, one-sixth the gravity. So that means if you weigh 180 pounds on Earth, on the moon, you would weigh one-sixth that. So what is that? Uh, six times, uh, you know, you weigh like 40 pounds. Six times two is 120. I, I don't, I don't know how to do the math. <laughs> anyway. And so that's why when the astronauts were up here in that absolutely true, uh, that those six absolutely true NASA missions that they didn't lie about in the 60s. That that's, why, that's why they kind of bounced around just a little bit. One-sixth of gravity. Gravity. The theory of gravity. <laughs> the other day, my uncle uh, thought I was crazy because I told him I didn't believe in gravity. I mean, yeah, gravity. Because what do you mean? You know, what? <laughs> he wasn't even sure how to ask the like like it was such a foregone conclusion that everybody just knows that gravity is real obviously look stuff drops you know uh I'm like no no that's just that's just nonsense wizardry that they made up to try to explain the other nonsense wizardry spell of outer space stuff you don't need even even their dumb story of what is gravity doesn't hold up. Like, oh, it's a magical force that only th bodies as big as a planet or the moon. But look out, moon's pretty small, so there's only one-sixth of gravity for some reason. But this magical force, you know, is what makes the pencil drop. It has no effect on bubbles or helium balloons or butterflies or clouds. But it will hold the moon in orbit to the Earth because the Earth's gravitational field. And that's what all the satellites are based on. Satellites that orbit the uh, Earth. They're in a perfect spot where they don't fall or float away. Gravity. You know. Um, what else does it do? Oh, but for some reason, 
and the sun, even burning balls of gas that never burn out or whatever. The sun that they claim to understand has gravity. And that's why all the planets rotate around the sun. Gravity. Gravity, gravity, gravity. It's just the most, they don't even like to, nobody even wants to debate. No one's even asking questions of like, what do you mean? That's stupid. You know, at least the Christians will go so far to go, what? No, Big Bang? Are you sure? How could you possibly know? But Christians believe in gravity. Like, oh, well, yeah, obviously. Obviously, there's a magical, invisible force that can't be measured, tested on, proven in any capacity at all at all <laughs> nothing you can explain why some stuff floats up to the top and st some stuff drops you know buoyancy in water the air is just like water if it's lighter than the air it's like buoyant like something that floats it'll float up like a bubble or uh, density and weight. If you drop a rock in the water, it's going to sink, just like in the air. Heavy stuff drops. Buoyant stuff that's light goes up. But they got us under a spell, and you know. That, and the spell is twofold. Number one, they made up the big lie of gravity. But then number two... They're like, and then if anybody tries to tell you that, no, no, gravity is just a theory that's never been proven, it makes no sense, your knee-jerk reaction will be like, what are you, crazy? That's hilarious that you don't believe in gravity. Everyone, everything is, that means you don't believe in, I was going to remember his name, Newton. It's not Edgar Newton. <laughs> Whatever Newton's first name was. Leon, Newton, whatever. Yeah, the whole structure, that's all these scientists that are based from Newtonian physics, Galileo, Darwin, all, all of them. You know. Bunch of wizards, liars, or actors, you know. 